Welcome to Cam Time Handmade. Today we're going to be working on working to learn a new stitch that is a part of the poncho that we'll be working on in a couple of days. This stoop, this stitch is called a back loop stitch. It's a single crochet back loop stitch, and it's fairly easy. I like to use it <clears throat> when I'm making sweaters. You can use it on the cuff, or you can use it on the bottom trim of your sweater, however you want to use it. So as always, I don't like to dawdle, so let's get started. Okay, so now as you see, I have the poncho right here, and this is the bottom section of our poncho. Um, and you can see how we did the back loop. And when we put, when we do our single crochets in the back loop, it gives it this nice ridged detail going all the way across. And as you can see, the um, when we start, it starts over doing like... Um, I don't know how, but how I would describe it, but it's in a different direction than when you're starting up here. So when it's going uh, vertical here and then horizontal up here. So you can see the little ridges right here. And that is what makes doing it in the black, black loop, <laughs> doing it in the back loop is what gives you these pretty red ridges on the end. Our simple slip knot. Now, as I say, you can make as many chains as you want to. I'm just going to go for a standard um, 13 chain so that when we begin, we will skip the first loop and we'll have 12 at the end. So let's go ahead and chain 13. Okay. So now, as I said, this row is going to only have 12 stitches in it. So we're going to go ahead and skip that first single crochet. We're going to fix that, skip that ugh, slip. <laughs> we're going to skip that first chain there and go into our next chain, which is there, and just single crochet. And you want to single crochet all the way across. So that first one was one. This is two. So now we have our 12 single crochets going all the way across and now we're going to go ahead and start with that back loop. So if any of you, <clears throat> if you've watched my tutorials, you will know that I explain what that V stitch is or that V look on the top of each of your stitch. Normally when you're doing a single crochet or a double crochet or whatever stitch it is that you decide to do, you're going to go through both of that V stitch. You go through underneath the bottom of that V stitch, right? But with your back loop only, you're only going to go in this back loop here in the back. And I'm going to show you what I mean. So I'm going to chain one and turn my work. Normally I do not chain one when I'm doing a single crochet. Sometimes I don't chain at all because I just like the look of the, um, the edges better. So we're going to go into that first crochet. But we're not going to go through the bottom loops and straight through. We're actually going to go in that back loop. So when your project is facing you, this loop is the front loop. And that is your back loop. So when you look closer and you see that V stitch there, you see the V stitch. That's one part of it. And that's the second part of it. This part of the V stitch is in the front. And this part, V stitch is in the front. And this part of the V stitch is in the back. So we're going to take our hook and go into that back loop. So chain one. Go into the back loop, and even if you have to twist it to face you so you can see what you're doing, you do that. So you go into that back loop only. Yarn over, pull through, and make your single crochet. And as you can see, I'm only in that back loop. Let's go on to the next one in the back loop. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. And there's another single crochet and you just keep doing that in all the loops in the back 
until you come to the end. And I'm going to continue. I'm going to try to get as close as I can without getting blurry. Into that back loop. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through those two to make your single crochet. Same thing for the next one. And you just continue that over and over again until you get the end, to the end of your line, the end of your row. So now we're on, let's count. Remember, you wanna make sure you bend it through so you can see all your stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's go back into that back loop again. That's eight. This is nine. 10, 11, and 12. Now, sometimes when you get to that last one, it doesn't look like it's there. Sometimes you have to play around with your yarn a little bit, but it's there. So then go ahead and go into that last loop, which makes it 12, and that's it. So you just do continue to do the same thing as you go along. Go ahead and turn your work. You can chain one if you want to. You don't have to. Just continue on. There's that first V-stitch right there. We're going into that back loop. Boom. Just like that. And you do this for as many rows as you want. Um, in our poncho, I think I have... 30 something rows about 35 or 36 rows um, for this bottom portion but again you can do as many as you want you can make that bottom portion as thick as you want to or you can do one or two line two rows of this um, back loop single crochet but you just keep going and going and as always if I'm going too fast for you you can go ahead and rewind this video back in the settings and make it go a little bit slower and just repeat it until you get it but it's a fairly simple stitch and it gives it a nice raised effect a nice ridged effect to add some depth to your project hope everyone have a awesome day